Yeah. Yeah. I'll say this, and, and here's the big part, because I know for a lot of guys at home, they're, they're still trying to get their sex life figured out, so they may not deal with this, but mm. when you have a woman in your life and or multiple women in your lives and they really love you, they start to sabotage you just a little bit. Hmm. Okay. A little bit. Well, I'm trying to be nice. We're on Rich's channel. I got to make it Disney for him. Explain. Water down if you have to a little bit, but you know, explain because I'm not with you. We'll pass the 30 no. minute mark. Go ahead. No, I'm just, I'm just shit talking to people who always talk shit about me in the comments section later. Um, no, <laughs> but no, like when you're okay, so you're in a relationship with a girl, right? And she really loves you. Her perception of you, she, her love for you, she thinks like all other women see you the same way. And so she got women have this scarcity mindset, right? Mm -hmm. And so what they do is they start to give you that extra scoop of rice. They start to tell you, <laughs> you don't. Know, oh, I see what you're saying. Like try to mm -hmm. fatten you up a little bit. <laughs> they get, they <laughs> dress you like an idiot. <laughs> they yeah. get you fat. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They I tell you, that. you, you want, And honestly, how much? Honestly, well, that's part of the betatization through a thousand concessions that I wrote about in that book, yeah. right? Right. But you, in order to get betatized, you actually need the attention of a woman first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of these guys don't have yeah, right. Helps. <laughs> and so you know they, they have nothing so they're like okay well i i can only beat my dick six times a day i'm gonna go like learn to code now and like make pay uh, you know x pay and, and then sell it when it becomes paypal and now i'm gonna go to you know the rockets and in, in space and all that for for elon's situation right um jeff bezos same way right he like just was sitting there i mean look at these guys were all super unattractive before they got money as well right everybody misses out on elon like was literally bald before he got the, the hair transplant and sorted himself out. Uh, Bezos, the before and after billionaire thing went uh, viral with him, right? Because uh, he got money. And money increases the quality of your life. You get better. But yeah, so, here, I'm going to grab that picture of the before and after because that's a really good point. So do, do the Elon Musk one as well, the hair transplant. Yeah, yeah. Hold um, on a second. And in, so what I'm trying to say is this too, right? So in regards to these girls. He has they, jacked up a little bit there. Oh, he's they, definitely got on TRT for sure. Yeah. Yes. They, they will derail you because they already feel like, okay, well, he's too successful. Like, if he gets more money, he's going to replace me, right? Mm. And Look at this dork. Look at this <laughs> picture here compared to this guy on the right. Oh, okay. Yeah. You yeah. got to give the guy some credit for this, though, right? Yeah, I mean, he yeah. he has he has yoked up a little bit. Let's let's. But be that's, that's surface layer because now pull up a picture of fucking... Yeah, look, uh, there's the old picture of Elon Musk, you know, from the PayPal days with Peter Thiel, right? Yeah, there he is. Got the hair transplant. Yeah, the hair transplant. It's funny. Put, put that guy's picture. Like, we should make fake accounts of Elon Musk, like from that picture, and put it on like Tinder and see how many. Look how at this picture Musk here <laughs> of uh, of the uh, Google founders. It looks like uh -huh. a freaking profile picture for Grinder or something. Yeah. 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 Um, but you know, kind girls, of will the girls will actively sabotage you, right? When I started, like, you know, getting some serious success with my YouTube channel and on like my courses and everything, you know, Miss MLD was like, like throwing temper tantrums in the middle of launches and stuff. Cause like subconsciously mm -hmm. she's like, this guy gets more money. He's going to fucking leave me. And women are a constant source of drama and headaches. And the more mm -hmm. you have them around Troy, you know what I'm talking about when you're juggling mm -hmm. like three, four girls, you got them on, on the rotation, you know, dear, I got these girls in my life right now. There's a civil war. A silent civil war <laughs> went on about about who gets it's true, the, man. Who gets, who gets the space in the bathroom? Women invite cabinet. drama with you all the time. Who gets the space in the in the in, in the fucking? I'm gonna thing. throw and, this bitch's toothpaste out. Get, <laughs> my, leave, hey, leave, leave, no, hey, no. Hey, be, be cool. Be cool. Leave, leave, <laughs> leaving their hairpins around, leaving shampoo, this and that, constantly like a little cold civil war against the other girls, and I gotta like. I got to deal with that in the middle of the whole thing, right? It does derail you. Also, like, honestly, how motivated are you after you bang two hot girls in the same day? You're like, I'm, <clears> I'm going to lay down and, like, play Ghost of Tsushima. And, like, me, I'll, I'll, I'll have, uh, have a slice of pizza today, too, right? Because you're just like, I, I like, every time I'm – the only reason I want to get ultra rich and successful is for women nine times out of ten, most guys, right? They Like, Rich, do you, like, aspire to be, like, an ultra billionaire and, and, and no. super – God now? No, because you have a good life, you have a good sex life, and you're you're totally kosher. Like these guys, they don't, so they become 
uh, like so focused in thinking that this is the only way to solve their problems to an extent. I think also they're a little bit off. They're a little bit psychopaths too. Like, hmm. you know, yeah. after you make, a- after you make, honestly, a- adjusting for inflation now, but I would say after you make $250,000 a year as a guy, US dollars, it's pretty much all the same. Like it's like now you're like okay now I buy hoodies for a thousand. Yeah, there's been studies on this. I think anything after about eighty or ninety thousand, like USD, now it doesn't really change your happiness. I mean, it just gives you access to buy cooler shit. I mean, it's just your toys get more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's <laughs> funny though, isn't it? How, oh, go it's try. funny, isn't it though? How there's the societal sort of meme that's gone around for day, for centuries of, uh, you know, behind every great man is a strong woman, because it uh-huh. seems to me, it seems to me that the, the opposite is true, really. I can't, I mean, and no disrespect to the people involved, but I, I think all the, the, the girlfriends I've had have probably sabotaged me more than anything else, really. Do you know what I mean, I can't, I can't think of any, I can't think of any that's really gone out to support me and to really help me to get where I wanted to get to. I mean, think about about it, too, dude, though? Like, think about it, right? Like, dude, these girls, let me tell you the level of psychopathy I'm dealing with, okay? These girls will go through my Instagram likes and be like, I saw this girl. She liked your photo four times. <laughs> Who is such and such? I'm like, bitch, what are you doing? Like, why aren't you studying NFTs or investing in crypto? Like, what are you doing stalking the likes, like the 300, 400 plus likes on my Instagram? She wants right? to but make gr- sure you're not moving your resources and attention to another woman. It's evolutionary, Right. 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 Right, that's, well, that's what I'm saying. Jealous. Women get yeah. jealous for a completely different reason than men get jealous. And guys, and still get rich grief guy, for that one girl I had on the podcast three weeks ago. It's when you're when you're a super rich guy, or excuse me, when you're a super beta guy, you have no attention. None of these girls. Do you're happy if a girl even acknowledges your existence? You know what I mean? So they mm-hmm. don't have to deal with this. Troy, you've dealt with it, right? How many mm-hmm. how many times have you been sleeping, Troy? And girls gone through your phone, gone through oh, your yeah. drawers. Whose hair is this? Whose hair is this? I'm like, I don't know. What do you mean? Dude, you they look at like fingerprints on like sh- glass shower doors and mirrors. Know. You know, they'll, know. they'll go through your garbage. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at a wine glass. I, that's I'm not just, my call. That's not my lipstick. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, listen here, fucking S- CSI. Like, what are you doing? Like, calm down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. They do, they're, they're, especially when you're. Well, I think on some level of consciousness, like women understand, like it, whether you are have the potential for success or you already are successful, um, there is that uh, women are going to make guard guys for a different reason than men will make guard women. Like men tend to like the, uh, Brian, you know, this is like this you know, research has shown that like guys get jealous if, a, if there's infidelity, like if a woman bangs a, another guy outside of the marriage or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, that guys are more that that's more of like a, an egregious sin to guys because men are more invested in paternity. Whereas when a guy goes and he cheats on his wife or something, it's not the, it's not so much the sex act as it is. Are you in love with her? Is there an yeah. emotional connection? Yeah, it's the emotional because it's, a, it's it's the it's it's F, it's FOMO, right? It's fear of missing out. It's it's the idea that this oh, oh no, my lifestyle is going to change. My my long term security is going to change because again. Women only only have a very brief window in their in their history, eighteen to twenty eight thereabouts, where they can attract and you know be arousing and and get the attention of high value guys that they want to lock down. The rest of their lives, from like thirty until they're eighty or ninety, that's going to be spent trying to secure long term security. And so when when they mix emotion and they lead with emotion, when they mix emotion into that into the investment that they've made in that guy, they realize I won't be able to get as high a quality guy as this dude again if I have to if I'm put out into the back into the sexual marketplace. Now, of course there's social conventions that convince women otherwise, but that's the fear. And that's why women get jealous and they get they make guard according to those standards as opposed to guys going I don't want anybody banging my girl. And I do want to clarify um, this too, because a lot of guys listen to this and you'll think you're just, they think you're just talking about money. You're not, it's Mm -hmm. not just about resources. Remember for a girl getting married, that's a status flex. Mm -hmm. That first divorce now has become a status flex, which is fucked up. But yeah, just losing a man to a younger woman makes you look really bad to your peer group. Mm -hmm. That's a thing that terrifies women. Yeah. So it's not just so much like, how can I check out to get paid? No, if she checks out, and she ends up being a worse person at the end. That matters more. That's why they so, hate losing out to these younger girls. It's like, oh, cost. you couldn't even it's keep your man cost. loyal. Yeah. Oh.